Hello and welcome to a new video and today we're taking a look at the C2C service between Shoebury Ness and Tilbury. We're starting at Southend going to Shoebury Ness first and then we are going from Southend to Tilbury and here on the map you can see our route today. We started at the station of Southend with buying the tickets from the ticket machine and then we passed the ticket barrier and went through this on the pass to the platform where we were waiting for our train and here we can see and hear our train arriving. And here we can take a look at the interior of our train and listen to its sound. Our train today is a British Rail Class 357, Class 357 and this specific train is the version 3573, so the latest version of the train which comes with extra comfort as it has only a 2 plus 2 configuration, the older trains have a 3 plus 2 configuration. We're now going to Shoeburyness, the end of the line that is coming from London, usually from Fenchurch Street, in this case the train was coming from Liverpool Street. Here we can see the interior of the train one more time and in this 2 plus 2 configuration it is quite comfortable and nice. Here we are now reaching Shoeburyness, the end of the line where we are also leaving the train and continuing on by walking back to Southend all the way on the coastline you saw that in the last video so we are now continuing back in Southend on the next day so we had to buy another ticket and now we're going with a different line to Tilbury. From Southend there are two lines to London one is going directly via Basildon that's the fast line and then there's the slower line going via Tilbury and between uh, Grace and at the station of Grace there's another connection on back to the line via Basildon. In my opinion the most scenic part of the railway line is shortly after south and behind the station of Chalkwell because there we are going directly at the ocean directly at the sea it's a quite nice scenery and then we are continuing on to Benfleet and Pitsy. Pitsy is the last station where both lines are stopping together there those two lines are separating the faster line via Basildon is going to the right and the slower line that we are on is going to the left. Here we are reaching the station of Benfleet and shortly after we have the station of Pitsy. Until Pitsy the train is quite empty because everybody that wants to go to London is taking the other line, the faster line, so there are just people on board who want to go to one of the intermediate stations. But starting at the next stop of Stanford La Hope it gets crowded pretty quickly because now it's the only train heading in the direction of London. After Stanford La Hope there is another railway line joining us, it's coming from the London Gateway port, so it's just a freight line. Then we have a stop at East Tilbury and after that we are reaching the station of Tilbury Town which is my final destination for today. Before reaching Tilbury Town there's another railway line coming from the left which is another freight line coming from the Tilbury rail port which is part of the port of Tilbury. Here we have the station of East Tilbury so next stop is Tilbury Town. 
Probably you've heard of Tilbury as a cruise port, especially of cruises that are starting in the UK. A lot of those cruises are starting in Tilbury as it's the closest port to London. It's mostly not used for stops of cruise ships that are not for an exchange of passengers. Ships that just want to stop to visit the city of London are either small enough to stop in London themselves or rather go to Dover or Southampton where there are more options for excursions if you don't want to go to London because Tilbury itself is not offering too much for tourists. But as we are going with the British Cruise Liner this time Tilbury was the perfect port to start our cruise it's easy to access with the C2C trains and here we can see our train departing. And as I said, now it's a short walk of about 20 minutes here in the background. You can see the ship already, but I will tell you more about the ship and which ship it is in the next video. Uh, so this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it here. You can see when the next video will be uploaded and the name of the song. As always, I'd like to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider to comment, like, subscribe or share the video link. And I hope to see you in my next video.